Um, I'm taking a video of the dog because she's, uh, um, well, I want to show what condition she is in. Um, this is still the day after the surgery. She had the surgery yesterday. It's been about 24 hours since she came home. And um, she's a little bit loopy, like this, um, just looking around, um, not really paying attention to me. Um, come on, let's go this way. It's almost like her routine is disrupted. Like she had a routine of where she smelled, what she looked for, um, and now she's got her nose in every blade of grass because it's almost like she's not sure where she is, if that makes sense. Come on, come. Let's go this way. Now she's a service dog and trained to walk um, right next to me. And this is part of what's showing me. See how she thinks she's leading me? And we don't do that, so. Um, I took her just across the street early this morning um, and then home again just to get her to walk about, well, right over there at the corner, there's a, a bag for um, dog disposal bags. I took her over there and back again. And this is the second time I've had her out in the yard because I'm, I'm kind of trying to treat her as normally as possible. Come on. She's been doing, when, when I'm not telling her to do something or getting her to do something, she's been sleeping. Come on, let's go. Backyard. Coco. Backyard, come. See, this is totally um, not usual. Coco, come. Come. See, she's not paying any attention to me, which is... She has peed regularly, and obviously this video is in case the vet needs to see it. She has not had a bowel movement yet, but like I said, it's been 24 hours. She has eaten... Um, soaked kibble and I diced up cooked chicken. I mixed that together and she's had um, about a half a portion last night at about four o'clock and again this morning. Come on, come. So she's mobile. Her left front leg was bothering her this morning. It was shaking when she was standing. She's just, um, I don't know, like her own little trip or a little bit out of it. She keeps trying to go in other people's yards, which we never do. Come on, come. And then if I say come or get stern with her, she, with her, she looks at me like, who am I to tell her what to do? And she's not the type to like play up an injury or anything. Coco, come. We have squirrels and we just had a bunch of turkeys in the backyard. And luckily she scared them because it's two, two females with a bunch of babies and we don't really need a confrontation right now. Um, and they saw her before she saw them. She usually ignores them. This is under the bird feeder and there's a lot of squirrels and turkeys and everything that hang out here. Come on, bees, come. See how I have to pull on her collar though and I don't like doing that. All right, all done. She's just working on slow motion. 
So there's a yawn. Okay, let's go in. Um, I'm adding this. It is hot out. It's, it's 72 and they're saying it feels like 83. Um, and I just ended the video and she's panting when she comes in. And yawning. You okay? You okay? Did you have fun? Yes, you had fun? Yeah? Okay. Alright. She might also know I'm putting in a new air conditioner. Um, not that that would make her pant, but she doesn't like the heat. And I've been putting it together, so... Say goodbye. Say goodbye.